Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Suburban dad vibes. Ready to go. Welcome to Packing with Alex. Ah, another crotch sticker attached. Phenomenal. It was at this moment she knew she might not have enough space in her suitcase. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today's vlog is the day before vacation. Oh, y'all got the snowblower. Um, we are currently in the midst of a snowstorm, which is exciting because honestly, we have hardly had any snow this year. Oh, I can see the snow. He's blowing. He's snow blowing. So while he snow blows the driveway, um, I'm gonna have my coffee. <laughs> I took footage of him last night. <laughs> He was like getting the snowblower ready because like suburban dad mode activated. Yarman is in full dad mode, suburban dad vibes. We're gonna get a snowstorm tonight and tomorrow. And he just brought in the cars and he's like, let me see if the snowblower can fit out. Let me make sure it's charged. Ready to go. So that was really cute. There's something adorable about seeing him in uh, suburban dad mode. But it's time to be a barista. We're gonna get crafty today. We're gonna do the sugar-free caramel. And it was so cute this morning when Bruno got to go outside. He is such a Bernice Mountain dog. Like for real, loves the snow. Even with his short fur, cause I was like kind of nervous. I'm like, oh, look how beautiful. Look at this. I love when it like, mixes together so pretty yeah i was like nervous about his fur being so much shorter i'm like is he gonna be cold he did not give a damn he did not want to come inside he did not care how cold it was here he comes just so happy to be in the snow <laughs> he's so happy <laughs> i think he likes it because it's like a game because he like He'll push a little bit and then it flies around and then he just keeps like trying to get it and then he eats it. <laughs> Do you love it? Are you in your element? <laughs> so cute. So cute. Mommy's going to be in Florida tomorrow <laughs> in the sunshine. I hear snowblowers. Daddy's going to have to get out the snowblower. Activate suburban dad mode. All right, let's go inside. Let's go have breakfast. Mm, delish. Coffee straw is in the dishwasher, so we're going green today. So I don't know about you guys, but day before vacation is a crucial day. There's a lot to get done today. And I didn't really even think about the fact that there was a snowstorm coming. And it's just so funny because like we haven't had like hardly, hardly any snow. I had a feeling we're gonna get slammed this March because like it's all just been like a little too mild. So we'll see how March goes, but I should have gotten my nails done yesterday. I was thinking about it. Um, I wanted to get a fresh manicure right before we go. As you can see, they're starting to get grown out. Um, we're just about at two weeks. I could push them a little bit further, but since we're gonna be gone for the week, I wanna have fresh manicure ready to go. And I wanna get like a vacation-y color, maybe like a neon green or like a pink, just something really cute. And it gives Florida. But when we get there, my mom and I always go and get pedicures. It's like one of the first things that we do. It's our tradition. We have like a spot that we go to. That'll be fun, but your girl needs a manicure. So I'm like, well, should we brave the snow? But we've only gotten a few inches so far and it's already just like lightening up. It was mostly overnight. He's snow blowing and it's supposed to turn to rain this afternoon. So I'm like, I think I'll be able to go later. I don't think it'll be a big deal, but we'll keep an eye on it. Of course, we need to pack and just do all of that pre-travel vacation stuff. I need to pack up my pills and do like a whole week's worth in my travel organizer. I want to dye my eyebrows. I have gel in them right now, but it's time to darken them up a little bit. Obviously I shower every day, but I don't wash my hair every day. And I was like, should I wash my hair so it's fresh for travel? And then I thought to myself, we're gonna be in the pool tomorrow. <laughs> Cause our flight gets in like pretty early tomorrow. Um, our flight leaves at eight. I think we're getting in around like 12. I don't know, will we swim tomorrow? I'm like, should I have fresh hair? Because I'm gonna be washing my hair like every day when we're on this trip, just because there's gonna be chlorine in it. Isn't it funny how we have to like think about these things? I mean, we don't have to, but we do. I'm trying to think if there's any last minute things I need to grab while I'm out as well. So yeah, let's just get this day going. I have all my stuff in a big pile on the chair in our bedroom. So packing should be pretty simple, we'll see. For breakfast today, if you know, you know, Target green grapes, 
are elite. They are so crunchy and just amazing. And then I just made some avocado toast with honey and red pepper flakes. Okay, you guys, we are heading out to get the nails done. Honestly, the roads are totally fine. It's like hardly snowing now. The roads are fine. It's just like wet. I, you can tell it's just this is that kind of snow. It's all gonna melt later, I think. Cause like it's fluffy. It's not like heavy. It's gonna get warmer and rain later. So totally fine out here. Yes, the salon opened like 20 minutes ago. So I'm hoping, I think no one's probably gonna be there. The roads are really, really quiet. So that's good. I'm trying to think what color we should get. I'm gonna look at the little book and see. My mom got, she's wearing like new press-ons and they're like fuchsia and they look really pretty. So I, I'm thinking maybe like kind of a Barbie, Miami kind of pink would be really cute. A few moments later. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> My nail salon is not open. I just like went up and all the lights are off, the door is locked. So while I'm out, <laughs> I'm like, should I just go? to a different nail salon because like pretty much everywhere does the dip so i think i might just have to do that so i don't really want to go home and then go back out that's just me <laughs> i really just drove like down the street a little bit and there's another nail salon so i don't know a thing i don't know if it's good or not but we're just gonna wing it so let's go the sign is lit up so i think that's a good sign Okay, you guys, back home. Here are the nails. It's called Wild Thing by New Genesis in the dip powder. Like, it's this really pretty neon pink. Perfect for vacation. I feel like it's coming off a little different on camera, but super, super pretty. So I went to a different place since my place was closed, and they did a great job because you just never know. All right, the time has come. We're moving into packing zone-ish. Um, I just had some dinner. Oh my god, not dinner, lunch. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna set up my vitamins for the week. Hopefully I have enough of my multivitamins. So you guys know these are the ones I take because we're trying to get pregnant if you're new here and I had gastric bypass, so this is the perfect combo. Then I take my um, calcium chews as well. And then, this is embarrassing, but since my surgery, we need stool softener. Phenomenal. And everything fits like actually perfectly in here. Like, look at that. Boom. Three times a day with calcium chews. Like, perfect. One per day. This is the little, oopsie, the little set that I have from Amazon. If you have like a three day situation, I will link the pill organizer. packing with Alex. I have here on our chair a pile of stuff for that suitcase. I did put an old towel underneath because I know it's a little gross putting a suitcase on the bed, but we're protected. I will link my suitcase. We both have an away suitcase um, and I really like them. They're nice. It does come with a laundry bag. Love. Funny enough, it goes like right in here. Yarman showed me this. I didn't know this was here. <laughs> so we've got multiple bags of stuff here <laughs> in the non-clothing section. Um, over the last several vlogs, um, we've been doing a lot of prep for the trip. So we'll quickly run through everything because let's just hang out, Tylenol. And I'm also gonna make a separate pile for um, my backpack that I'm gonna bring with me as my carry-on. I put like my laptop in there, my meds, glasses, things that like, just in case my check-in luggage gets lost, I can survive. <laughs> so I'm um, keeping Tylenol with me, so we're gonna put a separate pile over there for the carry-on. I grabbed um, the Intuition razor because you don't have to use shaving cream. These are perfect for vacation. Ooh, also random Amazon find. Am I like really far away? <laughs> my mom saw this, I don't know if she saw it in like the news app she reads or like Good Morning America, I don't know. <laughs> These are called the Chub Rub Patch. Thick thighs save lives. Uh, and they have different skin tone colors and it's basically like a big band-aid that you put in between your thighs. There's three pairs in here. I'm gonna bring my usual Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel, but I do wanna try those and let you guys know if they work slash if they're good and they go on each leg. So 
I don't know. I can see it working and not working. So we will test that together. I got a mini Hydro Boost moisturizer. We've got a bunch of, well, not a bunch. I got two sets of mini shampoo and conditioner, a cute little baby cleansing balm, a mini body wash, a mini hairspray, because we're definitely gonna do some slicked back buns. Oh, this cute little, it's a 10 miracle leave-in spray. This stuff's amazing, especially if you're gonna be swimming, your hair is gonna get dry. This stuff is perfect in the little small container and a small face wash from Soap and Glory. Oh, I'm excited to use this, the Rescue Balm. It's a little one from Hero. So I have a cosmetics case where I usually put all like my skincare and then I have another one for makeup. And then usually with like this kind of stuff, I just bring it in like a Target bag. Cause honestly, you just never know when you're gonna need a Target bag on vacation. I also got a little mini loofah here and some waterproof mascara. Then I recently showed you guys um, these Amazon finds that I got for the trip. So like this jewelry organizer case, we're gonna pack that momentarily. I'm gonna put this in the carry-on. We've got a new book. Ah. Another crotch sticker attached. Phenomenal. We're gonna pack our light up mirror. This is gonna go in the carry on, the phone clip, so we can watch stuff on the phone. It attaches to the back of the fold out tray on the plane. I'll link all this again. We've got these cute little sandals, little chunky foam, these cute kind of espadrille looking sandals, bunch of bathing suits, and the charger for the mirror. Oh, I forgot to show you guys too. I got this cute bodysuit as well from Amazon. It's like, it goes like this. So it's really nice quality. I'll try it on while we're down there. I think I have honestly enough bathing suits for a different one every single day. <laughs> and normally I would just kind of rinse it out in the shower at the hotel. And I should probably invest in like packing cubes. I feel like everyone loves packing cubes. I also am conflicted about the whole like rolling of clothes. I don't feel like they save that much space, unless I'm doing it wrong. We've got 4,000 pairs of Abercrombie shorts. How many shorts does she need? You guys all swooned over this Old Navy romper that I did in like a reel. It is so cute. Okay, so, so far, romper dress. These are like kind of cute, like going out to dinner fits. Oh, here's that um, Ralph Lauren button up I got on Poshmark to wear as like a beach cover up. It's like so cute. It's, gi it's giving like mom, it's giving mom on vacation. We're manifesting, you know. Why does all of a sudden my suitcase look really small? All right, bathing suits. Okay. <laughs> bathing suit top number one, number two, number three. <laughs> bottoms for all of those top number four one piece number four that's eight bathing suits and we're there for seven days oh top number five we got nine bathing suits great three cover-ups granted one is technically pants all right it's funny because like it's really not as much clothing i might have to narrow down the bathing suits so we have three pairs of denim shorts and i'm gonna pack a bunch of like just tank tops because that's my go-to vibe you know on the day to day, it's really hot where we're going. So we're gonna pack tanks and shorts and relief for chub rub. We have these cute linen beach pants. That's a cute kind of going out look or I can go over bathing suit bottoms. I think I'm gonna return these. They're just, I don't know. These, well, they're these Kona Soul wide leg like cover up pants. They have like a slit. I don't know, they're cute. I need to, I need to think about it. Another tank, so we have three tank tops. I'm honestly gonna need enough for like every day because also when it's hot, you know, you wear one outfit in the morning, you're at the pool, then there's another outfit. So it's not like you need seven outfits. It's like you need like 14. Oh, I love this Old Navy tank, so cute. Sorry, I keep doing that. <laughs> I have this new kind of muscly tank that I picked up the other day at Target. Oh, this really cute one shoulder dress from Amazon that I showed a few videos back, probably more than a few at this point. It's such a cute dress. I wanna pack some of these Tennessee dresses. These are from Old Navy because these are perfect for just like taking a walk. Um, and they just, they look adorable, you know. I'm gonna bring this classy network tank top 
built-in bra. We love that. Two pairs of Polan white shorts. A few moments later. It was at this moment she knew she might not have enough space in her suitcase. This is my beach bag for the trip. I didn't even think about shoes yet. These are all new, so they're not dirty. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, am I gonna bring two bags? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so I had a few other tank tops in my closet that are old that I wanna bring. Oh, I forgot about this. I got this cute romper on Amazon. This was so cute. I wear this True & Co tank. It has a built-in bra. I wear this all summer. It's just like silky smooth. This random Abercrombie tank I've had forever. I loved it so much, I bought two. I love this square neck tank. All right, I think I'm good now on like tanks and shorts. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna take a shower? Scratch that. All right, I am going to throw on a face mask clearing solution from Dr. Jart. I will link these. I'm trying to work on all this acne. If you guys have any like hormonal acne tips, let me know. And it's hard because like I'm kind of limited too with trying to get pregnant, like certain things I can't use, but I did get my suitcase all packed up and I'm going to leave this on for like 20 minutes. Okay, so my camera died, so I am going to leave this on and start editing this vlog. Okay, now I'm kind of just gathering what's gonna go in my backpack. This is my backpack from base. My mom got it for me for Christmas. It's so cute. It's like kind of this patent shiny, it's not leather, it's like more plastic, but it's really cute. I have my neck pillow attached and essentially what I do is I will bring a small purse with me on the trip and I put like my Percy stuff in here and then I put this in the backpack. So what's gonna go into my backpack is my laptop, book, this portable charger from Anchor. It's MagSafe, so it just like clicks on the back and it also um, has like a little stand. So you can kind of prop up your phone. It's really cute. It's actually the same color as my phone case. That was not planned, I've had this forever. Then I have that airplane thing, medicine. I'm gonna bring my AirPods Pro and my AirPods Max. Tylenol and I need to go through my current daily purse and see what I want to bring you know in my smaller bag for the trip also I got Bruno a new collar that matches the dog tag it's like this mint color with um gold because his collar is or his dog tag is gold and brown it's gonna be so cute so I always bring like a mini hairbrush in my regular purse we're gonna bring a protein bar contact Rewetting drops for freshening up the eyes. I always bring a nail file. That's really old, but it works. Hand cream. I'm gonna bring a Tide to go stick. It's worn off, but there's still a lot in there. I feel like you just always have to have a pen with you. So we're gonna bring this pen. I'm gonna bring the Dior lip glow oil. Of course, a hand sanitizer. I'm gonna bring Dramamine just in case. I always keep that in my purse in general. Just so you guys know like what a stan I am of the Monosat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. Who knows how old these are? <laughs> this one's like half full. This one's pretty much empty. Um, it's winter and I have one of these in my purse. <laughs> like I just always have at least one in my purse, no matter what. My mini YSL Black Opium is empty. These two can get tossed. And I do have a bombshell from Victoria's Secret Perfume. I always bring a perfume. My little baby concealer. My little baby mascara. Cuticle oil. And I'm gonna bring my vaccine card just in case. So I'm gonna put all of this into that purse, which is gonna go in the backpack. And I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera. I think I'm just gonna vlog on my phone just because it's easier for vacation. And I just don't wanna, 
lose it or drop it because I would. You guys, I'm literally sitting in Yarman's office while he works with Bruno taking a nap on the couch and I am editing this vlog. So hopefully you guys are excited to see some vacation content, but it's already five o'clock. So I need to wrap up this vlog. Um, we're going to have dinner. We're actually caught up on Servant. Like we're caught up now. It's like new episodes every Friday. <sighs> We just love that show and this is the last season so everything's gonna wrap up and we're gonna see how it all comes together let me know if you guys are watching it it's so good on apple tv and we're just gonna spend the night together i'm gonna miss yar and bruno so much it's like giving me a little bit of anxiety but i am excited for the trip i am excited to hang out with my mom but um i'm very attached to these two and look at that little baby he's conked out <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you. I can't wait to share lots of vacation content. Thank you for packing with me, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.